but these are the pictures of four of the firefighters that passed away at 701 University of Mabadashi. Uh, I believe three were from the squad company and one was from the rescue company. They got caught into a, uh, a really bad situation, they could not get out and they perished. Think of the job that you've always wanted to do, and you've got the chance to do it. I really knew when I wanted to be a firefighter at the age of 25, I think. I, I was a Marine and uh, when I got out of the service I had a couple of jobs and then I came to Syracuse to be a paramedic and I did that for 10 years and I, I saw how the fire department worked. I saw how they worked together. I had the opportunity to go to a bunch of fires as a paramedic and then I knew that I knew that's what I wanted to do. For every firefighter, the answer to the burning question is different. Why become a firefighter? The firefighters that you're going to meet work at Station 1. They work in the busiest engine house that we have. Uh, engine 1 is, has four people on it, and they, they go to an awful lot of fires in the city of Syracuse. Station 1's firefighters are responsible for a number of emergency response tasks in the city of Syracuse. Although their reasons for pursuing the career may differ, they have a common passion for the duty they share. Uh, what made me want to become a firefighter uh, was just the brotherhood and the camaraderie you have. Being a third generation firefighter, I've been around the guys my whole life. Uh, my father, my grandfather, talking about this being the best job in the world. Uh, seeing people on the worst day of their life and having the ability to help them out. Uh, there's really not a more gratifying feeling. Connor Irwin, Station One's newest firefighter, talks about his time on the job so far. Fire Station One veterans Ray Duncanson and Captain Carl Field and Deputy Chief Paul Cousins share experience and wisdom with some of their more inexperienced counterparts. Situational awareness is, uh, is pivotal, I think. Uh, you've got to know what's going on around you all the time. The job changes so often, it's constantly changing. And that's what I think firefighters pride themselves on, is when nobody else knows what to do, they call us. And usually we will figure out a way to solve it one way or the other, or guide them in the right direction to solve it. That's what firefighters are good at, recovering from a bad situation. Making a bad situation better. I would tell everybody that you have a mouth and two ears for a reason. You talk very little and you listen much more. There are There is so much experience in this fire department that you can learn from to be better. They, they have the opportunity to, to learn how to be safe. They have the opportunity to learn how to, from years and years of experience. Some people have 30 years working on a fire engine or a truck and they can give you a wealth of information that books can't. Regardless of experience, the firefighters share admiration for their peers and enthusiasm for this career. A lot of times people have heroes, NFL heroes, even military heroes. I eat dinner with my heroes when I work in the firehouse. They, they are remarkable. The work they do every single day is, is outstanding.